Hey, babies. It's me, Nana. Tonight we're doing Junie B. Jones has a peep in her pocket, and we're on to Chapter 6, Farmer Flores. So let's get to it. Farmer Flores did a nice smile. Your teacher tells me that you're not very happy about being here today, he said. I felt my forehead again. I'm ill, I said. Yes, well, I've been thinking about how I can make this a better visit for you, and I was wondering if maybe you would like to be my special farmhand today. Do you know what a special farmhand is, Junie B? I shake my head no. Well, for one thing, the special farmhand gets to walk with a farmer in the very front of the line. Would you like that, do you think? I did my shoulders up and down. I don't know, maybe, I said. And also, the special farmhand gets to be the very first person to sit on the tractor, said Farmer Flores. Does that sound like fun to you? I sighed very big. I don't know, maybe, I said. Okay, he said, but here's the most important job of all. The special farmhand gets to help me keep all the children in order. Just then, my mouth came all the way open. In order, I asked, very thrilled. You mean I get to order the other children around? Farmer Flores rubbed his chin. Well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way, he said. I quick grab my backpack. Well, then, what are we waiting for, Farmer, I said. I think she's ready for that. After that, I jumped, run off the bus, speedy fast, and I clapped my hands real loud. All right, people, get in line, Farmer. Farmer Flores said, let's go. He's going to show us around, and he doesn't have all day, folks. Let's move it. Let's move it. Pretty soon, Farmer Flores and Miss, Mrs. came off the bus, too. They told the children to please hold each other's hands. Give an order. Like the buddy system. You heard them, people, I hollered. The buddy system. We will be using the buddy system today. All of a sudden, Mrs. bended down next to my ear. Helping Farmer Flores does not mean being rude, Junie B, she said. I want you to be helpful and nice. But I am being helpful and nice, I said, because I didn't even tell anyone to shut up yet. Just then, I skipped to the end of the line and checked on Polly Island Puffer and Jim. I got my eye on you two clowns, I said, very helpful and nice. Jim cockledoodly doodly dude at me again. Yeah, only too bad for you, Jim. I said, because I already looked around this place for roosters, and I didn't even see one of those many guys. So, ha! After that, I quickly skipped back to the front of the line, and me and Farmer led the children to the pasture. Pasture is the farm word for big grass and a fence. Only wait till you hear this. There was four horses and two ponies in that pasture. And then I, I did not even run from them. Attention, people! Attention! I hollered. Do not be afraid of the horses and ponies. Just stand very still, and they will not attack you probably i thought for a second also do not feel them cheese popcorn i said i looked at farmer and i learned that from the zoo i said after that farmer held my hand and was led and we led the children to the barn the barn is where the cows get milked all of room nine held their noses in that place because barns smell like stink and hay farmer flores told us all about milking cows he showed us the machines that hook up to the cows plus also we saw big giant cans that hold the milk after he got done, he asked if we had questions. I raised my hand. If you breathe stink air into your body, does it make your inside smell like stink air too? Farmer didn't answer me. Only I don't know why, because that is a troubling question, I tell you. After that, he took my hand again, and we took the children to another part of the barn. There was a black and white cow there. Farmer showed us how to milk her with a milking machine. That is called a demo cow, I believe. After that, Farmer Flores was finished talking about cows. Okay, boys and girls, let's go back outside and visit some of the other animals, he said. Just then, I got a little nervous inside. On account of, what if he was talk taking us to see the rooster? I walked outside very carefully. Only good news, Farmer Flores took us right up to the pigs in a pen. And after that, we saw goats and lambs, and I petted a lamb on her fuzzy head. And that is not the bestest part. On account of pretty soon, Farmer Flores drove up on a shiny red tractor, and I was the first one to get to sit up there with her. Now that'd be cool to ride the tractor. I quick gave Mrs. my camera. Take my picture, please. Take my picture up here on this tractor. I smiled real big for her. Mrs. Click, Mrs. Click me. That will be a beaut, I said. After that, I got down from the tractor, and I took a cow picture, and a pig picture, and a lamb picture. But also, I took pictures of my bestest friends named Lucille and that Grace. 
Excellent pictures, friends, I said real thrilled. I can't wait for Mother and Daddy to see them. Then I hurried to the big trash can, and I throwed the camera right in there. See, Grace? See, Lucille? It is called a throwaway camera. Mother said that after you take the pictures, you just throw it away and buy a new one. And so what can be easier than that? Wow, said Grace. I know it's a wild Grace, I said. Plus, Mother said the pictures turn out beautifully. All of a sudden, Mrs. run over, and she took my camera out of the trash. Junie B, honey, you can't throw the camera away before the pictures are developed, she said. Shoot, I said. Nothing is ever easy, is it? After that, Mrs. put down blankets in the grass. Because it was time for a picnic, of course. Me and Lucille and that Grace sat on a blanket and opened our lunch bags. Yum, I said. Egg salad. Yum, said that Grace. Tuna salad. Yum, said Lucille. Crab salad on a flaky croissant and a side order of greens and a light raspberry vinaigrette dressing. Then all of us ate our lunches very delicious. Yummy. I like egg salad. Crab salad and tuna salad. Yeah, and I want to ride a tractor. Okay, guys, that is all for chapter six. Next chapter is Spike, so I'll see you on the next chapter. Love you, bye.